In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how Brizzy Cloud handles forms and form submissions. It's worth noting at this point that any form submissions are totally free as part of your Brizzy Cloud account. There's no additional charges for sending emails from the Brizzy service. Okay, now before we go ahead and actually start editing the form and setting it up and connecting it and so on, let me just quickly show you how easy it is to go ahead and add your own forms in. Let's just remove this one for now. We'll just delete it. We come to the elements over the left-hand side open these up and we're going to choose the option for form. All we need to do is drag that into our design and drop it. You can now see that inserts the form. We can select any of the fields inside you, choose the first option and we can customize the type of field. You can see we can set this to a range of different options, text, email, number, selects, those kinds of things. We can also go ahead and set this to be required, adjust the spacing, Go to advanced inside there, we can choose whether you want to show or hide the label. So you can see we've got a lot of options inside there. We can choose to display or hide the placeholder. We can also come into the background and we can adjust this and set it to small, medium and large. And we can also go ahead and adjust the corners if we want to, to make them more rounded. So lots of options inside there. And each one of these can be adjusted. You can see we can also come in and we can change the color of various different aspects. The background, the text, border, shadow. And we can also set this based upon the hover and the normal state. So all our design options are set inside you, ready for us to start working. So now that you've seen just how easy it is to start creating your own custom forms and customizing all the different aspects, let's quickly reset this back to what we started off with and take a look at how we start to connect everything up. To connect the form, all we need to do is select the actual submit button. So we'll select that and the very final option allows us to go and configure how this form is intended to work. So let's go ahead and select it. Now, we've got a range of different options inside you. We can send a plain old email, or we can go ahead and connect this up to a range of different applications, things like MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, and so on. Now, the beauty of working with forms inside Brizzy Cloud is you can connect the form up to multiple different locations simultaneously. So, let's go ahead and take a look, first of all, at how we set up an email. Let's select that. Once we do that, we can then just fill out the information we want to use for the email to, subject, and from name. I'll quickly pre-fill this out to save time. Okay, so there's all the details filled out. Now, if you want to send this through to multiple different email addresses, you can do that simply by adding a comma and inserting your second email, third email, and so on. Just like that. I'm going to remove the second one. We don't need that for this example. Okay, so once we click continue, that's basically the form completed. Let's go ahead and click on done, and that will close the form down. Let's go back in, though, because there's one other thing I want to show you. Let's click to edit the button one more time and you can see email notification is already set up and all our details are saved. We also have this option now underneath that says use custom template. If we open this up to enable it, you can see it gives us basically a blank box. But what we can do is we can use a selection of short codes that are linked to the form we want to send off to create a custom email. Now if we click on the little question mark, you can see this tells us all of the different short codes we can use, your name, your email and comment. Now these are tied to the form fields that you have inside the form that you create. So as you add extra form fields, you will have extra short codes inside you to customize your email. For now, let's just take a look at how we could create something using these options. So for example, if we click on your name, you can see we get this little copy option. Let's click on it. That's now been copied. So now we can go ahead and just simply paste that into our custom template. Let's do that. There's our your name short code. So now we could do is we could just say, hi, short code. We'll put a comma after it. So this will then take the information that's in the your name field of our contact form and replace that in the email that gets sent through. So now you go ahead and customize the email using the short codes, using whatever information you want inside you, and then that will be the email that will be sent over. Pretty cool and really easy to use. For now though, let's just disable this and let the default elements go through. Next up, we've got the option to connect this up to a range of different applications. One of the great things about dealing with applications and Brizzy Cloud is you can connect up more than one. So you can select multiple different applications and send emails. Pretty cool. So all you need to do is basically choose the application you want. In this example, something like MailChimp, insert the required information, hit connect, and you are all set up. Finally, you've got the recapture option. And if you have a recapture account, you can simply enable recapture, insert your site key and secret key, again, click connect. And if everything is in place, you'll then have recapture set up on your form. For now though, let's just go ahead and cancel this. We're gonna close this down and we'll click update. And let's go ahead and test our form. Let's just insert our details. And finally, we'll just hit submit. 
And there we go, we get a message now letting us know that our form has been submitted successfully.